first when I noticed a project about the BP, I thought it's great. I have a pocket terminal that I could have all the time with me, but one thing, it's here without any case. So when you want to tinker, it, it's great. You have access to the GPIO pin, etc. It's perfect. But let's say here we have a custom case made by someone and you will find the link in the description if you want to have the same. So credits and kudos to the designer. But here right now, I don't have any pins uh, output. So it's maybe really difficult to, let's say, solder or use any of these pins here to make any um, takes and Eric's uh, connection. But here is the thing. You could still have access to your micro USB and plug any data um, cable here. So if you use a OTG micro USB to USB A, a cable, it's great because you could plug any device you want actually. So here is one of the device that I've received when I plan to make the LoRa video with the Flipo Zero. So thanks to React, I have received the AYLS135. And this is a USB to serial adapter. And we're going to see how we could like use this. So now before like thinking, yeah, it's promoted, etc. Of course, I have received this device for free. So um, adapter, but you could still see the capability of like the BP in that video and all this, this could like actually fits to your needs. Because let's say you don't have like, you do not have the React, you might have another device which will provide exactly the same functionality. So far, you would just need like micro USB to USB A cable, and then you're all set and we could like proceed. Like I said earlier, the setup is pretty simple. There is the BP, which is Raspberry Pi. So that's why I'm using USB OTG for micro USB to USB A and the famous now reacts module so this one has different capabilities and for me which i found really interesting depending what kind of um, output you need uh, in terms of power you could um, select 5 volt 3.3 or 1.8 volt and they are like also level shifter but yeah that's not what i need to use i keep it simple for myself and Regarding this, I'm going to connect it to ESP32 module. And here is the thing, I tinker most of the time with this chip module and connect sensor. This one has already OpenSense installed. So for those who are not familiar, it is a community that allow people to send their values in terms of like temperature, pollution, you name it, about the air quality. I have typed sudo because I need the administrator right here and screen as I need to establish and set up my serial connection and some actual TTY, which is USB zero. So now I'm going to hit enter and the connection is done. So here is the wall like debug information that I could get from my ESP32. So right now I found it's really handy to have this in my pocket and go and debug on the go my probes, which are most of the time outside if I want to monitor the air quality, right? So hopefully this video is helpful for you. Here is the latest um, device that uh, React sent me and yeah I really have to say I took time to test it but I'm not disappointed with the product so thanks to them and hopefully you will see this uh, little guy in a new video. 
among with the BP, of course. Thank you and stay tuned. Thank you for staying until this bonus part. Here I'm also using the BP to connect to the serial CLI from the Flipper Zero. And here actually what I've done, I'm using micro USB cable to OTG USB A and then a USB A to USB C. And from that part on the Flipper Zero, you have nothing else to do, just start it and stay within the menu, I will say. And from like the BP, which is basically a Raspberry Pi here, whatever you are using. And here I'm using Debian distribution. And from here, basically, you just need to run like screen, which is software to establish connection over serial. And then I set up like the device, which is here in my case, TTY ACM0. And then I press enter. And then I press enter. So here actually I didn't have like the welcome menu because I was connected before and I didn't close properly my session. But now here, like you could see, I type help. So I have all the different commands that are actually present in a menu from the Flipper Zero, but some also are present only via the CLI, which is the chat uh, application. I have presented during my short video, but it was really short, like the name, and I wanted to make a little um, description in this video. So if you like this device, I think it's a good fit to have it on your pocket, not only to have like, let's say, serial uh, connection, because you could have that from different Android device which have already like OTG capability. But here actually what you will buy it from, it's because like it has this nice keyboard. So I think it's quite handy, you know, like a present before here, of course, could even use the micro USB cable, but if it's plugged and installed, the only way to debug it is to use Rx and takes when it will be in my enclosure. So I think it's nice. So you don't have to carry your whole laptop. You just need to take this. But you need to, to take into consideration like the screen. It's uh, e-ink, so like a Kindle or something. So you don't have any backlight. And that could be actually difficult to, to read. Let's say here it's sunny outside. At my place, it's kind of bright inside. And you see the contrast. Maybe I don't have the best setup, but it's um, okay to read, you know. If I, let's say, put it a bit closer. Might still have some uh, reflection here, but um, it's quite okay. In the outside too, it seems. And yeah, at night, it diff definitely something difficult if you put some uh, light around. But uh, yeah, you get what you paid for. So um, I think it's really, really nice. I like to, to tinker with this and maybe I will use a different um, case or, or dig um, some hole in a second device which I own because I want to access to the GPIO to to start um, tinkering and uh, maybe soldering some, uh, some cable onto the GPIO. So thank you for watching and I really hope it's helpful for the Flipper Zero because you could use it on, you know, a Mac, a computer, laptop, um, uh, your desktop PC. So have fun and stay tuned.